A Pavlovian response, also known as classical conditioning, is a type of learning where a person or animal begins to associate a neutral stimulus with a meaningful one. This concept was discovered by Ivan Pavlov, a Russian scientist, in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Pavlov conducted experiments with dogs to study their digestion and noticed that the dogs would start salivating when they saw food. He then paired a neutral stimulus, like the sound of a bell, with the presentation of food. Over time, the dogs began salivating just by hearing the bell, even when no food was present. This process, where a neutral stimulus becomes associated with a response, is now called a Pavlovian response. Pavlov's discovery became a cornerstone of behavioural psychology, helping scientists understand how habits, fears and preferences can form. One example of a Pavlovian response can be seen in everyday life with school bells. At the start of the school year, students hear the bell, but do not associate it with anything specific. However, after a few days, they begin to connect the sound of the bell with starting class, lunch, or the end of the day. Eventually, just hearing the bell can trigger feelings of excitement, relief, or stress, depending on what they associate with the sound. Another example involves pets. A dog may begin to associate the sound of a leash being picked up with going for a walk. At first, the leash itself means nothing to the dog, but over time, the sound of the leash being picked up triggers excitement because the dog has learned to connect it with the enjoyable activity of walking outside. Even if the owner picks up the leash without intending to take the dog out, the dog may still react enthusiastically because of the association. A third example can be found in advertising. Companies often use Pavlovian responses to influence consumers. For instance, a commercial might pair upbeat music with images of people enjoying a product. Over time, viewers begin to associate the product with happiness and excitement. When they see the product in a store, they may feel drawn to it, even if they do not consciously remember the commercial. Pavlovian responses have many benefits and practical uses. One significant benefit is that they can help people and animals learn behaviours that improve their lives. For example, in therapy, classical conditioning is used to help individuals overcome fears or phobias. By gradually pairing a feared object or situation with positive or neutral experiences, therapists can reduce anxiety and create new, healthier associations. In education, Pavlovian responses can make learning more effective. Teachers might use praise or rewards to associate positive feelings with studying or completing assignments. This helps students feel motivated and encouraged to continue good habits. Similarly, in training animals, pairing a treat with a specific action helps them learn behaviours like sitting, staying or fetching, which can improve their safety and interactions with humans. Businesses also use Pavlovian responses to build brand loyalty. By associating their products with positive emotions or experiences, companies create lasting impressions that influence customer behaviour. For example, a brand might sponsor fun events or activities to make consumers associate their products with joy and excitement. While Pavlovian responses have many benefits, they can also be used in harmful or manipulative ways. One risk is that people can develop unhelpful or unhealthy associations. For example, if someone always eats snacks while watching TV, they might develop a Pavlovian response where sitting on the couch triggers cravings for unhealthy food. This can lead to overeating or other health problems if the habit is not addressed. Another concern is the use of Pavlovian conditioning for manipulation. In advertising, companies might exploit people's emotions to make them buy products they do not need. For instance, associating an expensive car with success or happiness can pressure consumers to spend more money than they can afford, based solely on emotional associations rather than practical considerations.